The first step is to cut out your material. You'll need one 10 inch square of batting and you'll also need two 10 inch squares of cotton fabric. Since I decided to use two contrasting fabrics, I'm going to cut one 10 inch square out of each of the fabrics. Place and pin your batting to the wrong side of one of your cotton fabrics. Using an air or water soluble pen, draw two lines connecting opposite corners of the square. Sew along these lines. Your sewing lines should have created an X through your square. For the second piece of cotton fabric, you're going to follow the exact same process, except this time you won't need any batting. So this time I actually didn't mark any guidelines, but I feel like I can get pretty close. I've made a lot of these, uh, but it's up to you. If you're comfortable with the guidelines, you can still mark those and sew along that line. So now it's time to sew your darts and this will help give it that bowl shape. Fold your fabric in half and you're going to make a mark two inches down from the top edge and one inch across. Make these same marks at the other side as well. Sew a line connecting the marks. Fold your square the other way now and do that exact same process. it should now start looking kind of bowl shaped. I also went ahead and trimmed off any excess fabric that I have as this will reduce the amount of bulkiness. With your second piece of cotton fabric, you are going to fully repeat that entire process. Now it's time to connect these two pieces. Place and pin the pieces right sides together.
Line up all the edges and darts. Sew along the edge of the square with a quarter inch seam allowance, making sure to leave at least a three inch wide opening at one edge of the square. You will need this opening in order to turn the whole thing right side out. As you can see, I have my opening right here, and I'm also going to take my scissors and trim around my square any extra fabric that I might have. Locate the opening and turn the whole thing right side out. Next, you want to fold and pin that 3 inch opening shut. Once pinned, sew around the entire square at 1 8 inch from the edge. And you're done, and you have yourself a reversible full cozy. Thanks for watching.